How you doing? Good, how are you? How do you feel you've acclimated to... I know you've been here a while, but how do you feel now during the season here in Happy Valley here in State College? You know, I mean, getting used to things. Pretty good. I mean, for the most part, I mean, I, I feel like they really helped me learn the offense. Um, it hasn't really been a, you know, a big problem or anything like that. So, you know, it's been a day-by-day day day thing, and, uh, you know, it's, things happen, uh, positive and negative, but, you know, we just keep pushing. So, I mean, honestly, things look good since I've been here. Mitch, last year you were on a you know, Western Kentucky team that was very pass-heavy. Now you're in an offense that's much more balanced. Do you like that more? Is that more fun for you? Um, do you kind of have running backs who are taking a lot of the ball? Or do you like to you know, have more targets in the game? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I just want to help my team win. Um, you know, of course, you know, I came to this level you know, to prove that I can play at the power five level. So, I mean, you know, whatever targets or whatever I get, you know, I just got to take advantage of my opportunity. So, what's, what's the biggest difference for you just on the field? Nothing. I mean, honestly, I feel like, you know, people kind of make the power five and group of five thing too big. I mean, I would say the, the biggest difference is probably the trenches, the D-line and the O-line. But, I mean, as far as, like, the skill positions, I mean, it's a skilled position, so you know you got to be skilled. You got to be able to know what you're doing out there. So, so what did uh, living with Sean uh, this you know, several months before you guys played a game together? What did that do for you guys in September on the field? For sure, I mean, I feel like he really helped me learn the offense. You know, and really just get acclimated with being here. You know, with uh, creating connections with other teammates, and you know things like that. And uh, you know, and we got a lot of extra work in during the spring and the summer as far as you know routes and you know timing, that type, that type of stuff. So. Who are some of the guys you have gotten closest to since you've been here? Uh, I would say probably the closest is probably Sean, uh, Parker, and Malik Mega. Those are probably the three closest guys I've been to uh, you know, since I've been here. What can you tell us about Malik? Because we've heard a lot. We've seen him obviously quite a bit on special teams too over the years. I mean, he's, he's a dog. I mean, I feel like he's, he always has a positive attitude. You know, I mean, he never gets too low, never gets too high. He's always even kill. And, you know, I think he's a good player to have in your program for sure. Can you see these it. big wins help you sort of getting, you know, a little bit more rest in games, not taking as many hits? Uh, and how much do you think that'll help as you get on? I mean, I feel like it's been a good thing, but I mean, I think it's been, you know, better that, you know, we've been able to get so many guys rolling in, you know, and so many, you know, so much playing time, you know, so it's gonna help us down the line for sure. Mitch, what do you see about how deep this wide receiver room is? It seems like every time another guy's been given an opportunity, they've come up and made a catch. I feel like that's our motto. I feel like that's what Coach Stubbs preaches, you know, just taking advantage of our opportunities when we get in. And I, like I said before, you know, I've been saying it, you know, since the spring, I feel like all of us can go, you know, first, second, third string. I feel like we can all get the job done. So. How do you say uh, Caden's been coming along? Good, good. I feel like he's really learning from Parker since they're both in the slot. And, you know, he's always asking questions. You know, he's, he'll be ready also. How much of the deep passing game is being where you're supposed to be and how much of it is chemistry with the quarterback that, you know, that kind of what we always talk about of just throwing it up and letting you go make a play. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of timing and then it's a little bit of, you know, on the receiver end, just playmaking, you know, just having that mentality that it's your ball or nobody. So, you know, I feel like that is kind of what sums it up for the most part. But yeah, I mean, you know, reps and, you know, just continuously working at it, you know, you'll always, you know, be able to get better at it, so. How do you feel it's gone so far this season? Uh, obviously, I think I think we could be a little bit better in that range, uh, for sure. But I mean, you know, that'll come. You know, it just I feel like you can't put too much pressure on it. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're just gonna take advantage of our opportunities when we do get them. Are those explosive plays coming in practice for you, and were they were they something that was was typical in in, in camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're throwing deep ball in practice, you know, and a lot of over routes and you know things like that. So I mean, you know, we've been getting those reps in practice, so you know, it'll it'll come. At what point did you realize that there were two freshman running backs here that might be pretty good? Do you remember one? First day I got here. Well, I can't <laughs> say the first day, but early really? when I got here, yeah. I mean, just in winter workouts, just their mentality, like, you know, they were just grinders all summer long, you know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, they were going to be successful at, you know, no matter what. Um, but at the end of the day, I, you know, I didn't, of course, I'm not in their RB room, so I don't know exactly how the depth chart was going to work out. But honestly, I mean, they're dogs for sure. What are some things you've seen from Northwestern uh, defensively? Uh, I mean, they're a solid team, uh, for sure, especially on the defensive side. Uh, you know, the sound, you know, they, they're where they're supposed to be. 
But you know, at the end of the day, it's just gonna come down to execution from us. So. You're on the field a lot with Brenton Strange uh, at tight end. Um, it seems like that he's kind of raised his game a little bit this year. What, what have you kind of seen from him, uh, you know, on the offense from tight end? I mean, just unselfish. He does everything he needs to do um, as far as pass game, run game. You know, I mean, he's, he's always where he needs to be. You know, he just has a mentality that, you know, he's always going to get the job done. So. What were those first couple games at Beaver Stadium like for you? Was it was it what you expected? Was it more than you expected? Yeah, I mean, it, it was a cool experience for sure, uh, being in Beaver. Uh, you know, seeing, oh, I don't know, you know 106, 107,000 people in there. So, I mean, it definitely was a di different atmosphere than, you know, what I've been a part of. But, uh, yeah, it was exciting. Obviously, you guys are busy doing a million things, but what's maybe, is what stands out or what's surprised you about just this place, this community, this campus, maybe since you've been here? The fan base is, is just something different like that, you know, that I've ever been a part of. Mm -hmm. I mean, just as far as just, you know, how connected they are, you know, how just even before you know, we even get in the stadium, you know, just the atmosphere as you're walking into the, the stadium is just, it's just crazy. Like, I've never, I've never seen anything like that. So. Mm -hmm. How has the demeanor of, of Drew maybe changed from those early spring ball reps to where he is now? He's played in four college games and how he's carrying himself in the practice field. Uh, I think he's always been ready, uh, but just, you know, the position he is right now, you know, behind Sean that, you know, his time could be at any time. You know, I mean, he's always got to be ready. And but, you know, I think he's, he's always had a pro mindset for sure. Uh, so, I mean, I, you know, he'll definitely be ready when his time comes. We've seen, a, we've seen a little bit of Amari. Uh, what can you tell us about him as somebody who, who's in that room with him and out on the field with him every single day? Explosive. You know, he's got major speed out there. You know, honestly, you know, as, as long as I've been here, you know, I mean, he's been developing, you know, as far as his route running, you know, and things like that. You know, I think, you know, he's a guy that, you know, he's, he's behind me right now, but he's a guy that, you know, when he gets in there, he's definitely going to take advantage of his opportunity to make big plays out there. Sure. So how do you communicate with him in the course of a game? Like when he goes out there, are you kind of pay paying close attention and giving him some feedback when he comes off? Yeah, I give him feedback, but, you know, he's a smart guy. You know, for the most part, you know, I, I try to tell him what I'm seeing out there. But, you know, for the most part, you know, he, he's always on point where he needs to be. So. All right. Thanks, Mitch. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.